What's poppin' dudes? Today I wanted to talk about if the introduction of a new Daedric Prince into the Elder Scrolls lore is a little too ambitious. Um, I've seen a variety of commentary on this. Um, number one, people like me are excited. I'm, I don't want to say that I'm a lore junkie. I really enjoy the lore. And the other thing too is Elder Scrolls Online is canon. What does that mean? So that basically means everything that happens in the Elder Scrolls Online is something that has happened in the Elder Scrolls series, right? So if they introduce something new that we haven't seen in a previous game or seen really in the lore before, like Ephelia, the new Daedric Prince, it's going to be canon for future games. Now, what does that mean? Is she going to be a Daedric Prince that is present in a future game? We don't know, right? She could be banished or wiped off the face of Nern and Tamriel or whatever, um, basically wiped from existence again because she wasn't in um, anything that we believe to be in existence prior to this because Hermaeus Mora had prevented us from all knowing about her. But now that we do, how does that play into future games like the Elder Scrolls Six? that's probably going to come out in the year 2080, right? So I wanted to read some reactions. What I've seen is people are not necessarily enthusiastic about Ephelia specifically, but the introduction of a new Daedric Prince interests them. Some people are completely against the introduction of any um, new Daedric Prince. Now, I do want to say a lot of those are because they think ESO is ruining the lore. They don't do anything in this game unless they're directly talking to Bethesda. And they do all of this together. They get with the lore team with them and go through it. So that argument's not really there. You may not like it, but it's also with um, Bethesda in mind. So let me know what you think about that standpoint, though. Like, if you're just completely against ESO making new lore, let me know why. Okay. And then other people are just excited, like me. I think Athelia looks badass. I think a lot of people are against the way she looks because she basically just looks like a beautiful blonde girl. Um, and the other thing too, a lot of people, just to clarify real quick, a lot of people thought that because she's a female or depicted as a female, that she is a Daedric princess. The way that it works in um, the lore for the Elder Scrolls is that Daedric princes can really take on any form and are generally considered to be genderless. So they're just called Daedric princes across the board. That's why she's not a Daedric princess, if that, hope that makes sense. But anyways, this post was about a guy, it's gotten a ton of views. Um, but it was this guy basically saying that he's not happy with the new Daedric Prince. So I wanted to read through some of these comments and see why people are not happy in general. Okay. So this guy said she's basically just a slightly different version of Hermaeus Mora, like how Boethia and, and Mephala are fairly similar. That doesn't mean... So there's a number of different things with this. The She is the Prince of Paths. Um, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities between them, but that instance specifically doesn't bar her from being present, right? Or bar them from being present, because just like you said, established Daedric princes, there are a couple that are very similar. It's the same thing, right? This person said, "I hope we get to banish her eventually and never have to deal with her again." The established Daedric princes are already enough. She is slash was interesting in concept, but I'm not interested in yet another Daedric Prince. And the last thing I want to see is her added to the older Elder Scrolls game retroactively or appear in the Elder Scrolls 6. I don't think that they're going to go through that much effort to add, add lore about her um, retroactively. If anything, I do think that, you know, inferences or, you know, allusions to her would appear in future games if we don't do something about that now. So what is what is the whole reason that we're fighting her? So ultimately, Hermaeus Mora kept our knowledge of her hidden and the world's knowledge of her hidden because she was too powerful. She had too much control over what could happen, basically. And so he said it's better if she's basically imprisoned and no one even knows that she exists. And then we had the Dramora Torvasard that remembered something in a dream, knew that Hermaeus Mora had removed something from his dream, and ultimately we discovered her because Hermaeus Mora himself could not forget about Athelia, even though everyone else could, right? So he placed that memory of her in three different glyphics, which we went and found, put it together, and we got the knowledge of Athelia. So ultimately, I think this whole story is, hey, 
here's Torvasard, who has been wanting to find Athelia and has been wanting to find this part of him that he thinks he lost. And we are essentially working with Hermaeus Mora to get that information back for Hermaeus Mora and stop the world from knowing about Athelia, right? And we have that whole kind of Daedric invasion picture where you see all of the cool mirror looking Daedric um, beasts like the ones from Infinite Archive like um, Thoat who by the way I guess is like one of her Daedric lieutenants or something um, we see them kind of invading Nern in that way so I think more and more of the world is starting to know about her so I am curious though about what this means for the future of the series because now that we know about her is the goal essentially to wipe Tamriel's knowledge of her again like I'm, I'm really curious to see like what the the inference of the the entire story is this year um, this person said banning her again is most probably what this whole story is about not to conflict with the other Elder Scrolls games that are already published I wouldn't mind so much if she was one of those lesser or minor Daedra like Fanuit Hen the little guy from Maelstrom Arena, but to introduce a whole new prince who is already too similar to Mora is just strange. Um, yeah, I think it's... There's there's a lot of stuff about her that is strange, and I think the idea of her is... And a Daedric prince being added to me is exciting, but it does come with a lot of complications, right? And overall, I definitely am excited. I want to see where the story takes us. I think that Zenimax is doing a great job in in telling stories even though a lot of the themes have been like extremely similar over the last 10 years like the side quests and a lot of the ways that we'll learn about her through like little lore books and stuff like that i think is going to be great i'm excited for that stuff this is just another longer story arc of oh uh, here's a daedric prince threatening to get some artifact or do something that's threatening nern we need to stop them it's the same thing every single time so in that regard, I'm not excited. I hope they switch it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited that they introduced a new Daedric Prince? Do you think Ethelia is a cool character? Do you think, you know, the realm that they preside over, what they stand for, do you think it's too close to Hermaeus Mora? I'm really curious to see what you guys think. I don't want to read through all of this. There's a ton of comments um, basically saying a bunch of stuff. So I want y'all to read through these. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.